everybody. We are back with another episode of Crying in My Car, a podcast for teachers. It has been a long while. I know I was getting a lot of questions. Where have you been? What are you doing? What boxers or briefs? You know, things like that. <laughs> uh, but I was just regrouping, trying to figure out which direction I wanted to head, and I decided to bring my pal, Mr. James Yan, hey. along with me. What's going on? And uh, James is, is I mean, king of the, the castle when it comes to Orlando comedians. Do tell. I know. Yeah, he, he hosts his own show on Afro, which I do. is uh, The Lowdown with James Yan. Yes. Uh, he also hosts Funny Not Famous, which is a, a show you. that I've been on, Yeah, because uh, I am funny and famous. I, you know, I, I petitioned. <laughs> you were the only one. I petitioned that the was, other way around. Yeah. I said, "Look, I, guys, I can't. My brand can't be associated with this." Understood. Uh, but needless Thank to say, thank you for doing it. By the way, I decided to bring you in because you are a parent. Thank you. And I, and I'm a former teacher. Yes. And I decided that maybe we could cry in the car together. And you I've know? done that. I think parents and teachers collectively have both cried in their car. And if you enjoy crying in my car with us, uh, <laughs> cry, not my car, obviously your car. Yeah. Don't cry. That'd be odd. Mm, Anyways, uh, you can check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash crying in my car, support the podcast, and uh, also get cool bonuses, including uh, upcoming tour dates, uh, maybe some tickets, some giveaways, uh, lots of merch and things like that. Gotcha. Uh, now, James, um, I did this uh, with you. Because I know that you have gripes. I do. And and I can kind of answer some questions from the other side of it. And maybe you can help me in understanding the kids part of it. Because you I know, love that. Yeah, because you, you had children. Now no, I still have them. They're you still do, there. They're, they're yes. off to college, though, yes. right? Yes, they you are. went through the whole raising of them. I did. The whole paying of child support for them. The whole <laughs> visitation only on Wednesdays once a month with them. And no, I'm just kidding. No. You're a great father. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I try to be, man. Now, I, I, I want to uh, talk our first subject. I literally, and I remember this, I said, I want to do crying in my car with you, James. And one of the first things you said is, I have to talk about the parent pickup line yes yes okay so yeah. okay <laughs> okay oh well you're heated already i am all right uh, simmer down simmer I, down okay got it yeah got okay it. all you right know, no angry driving I, I won't. we're in the car seats by the way we so are look this at is this. technically road rage, road rage, rage. With james there you go i don't have a seatbelt on so it's like my normal driving james the the parent pickup line you're in the car what's the thoughts going through your mind we as a society we are very much technically Evolved. Yeah. We can admit that, right? Yeah. We can do a thing. We put men on the moon. Uh-huh. We've 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 invented cell phones. Yes. We can now we can now perform surgeries on hearts. Yes. And people live. Uh-huh. So can you explain as a teacher why we have not figured out how to get the goddamn kids <laughs> <laughs> into out the car of school into a car? I, I have no answer for you. <laughs> Damn it. Man. End of podcast. We're done here. Uh, he's it, expressed his side. I have no response. <laughs> and there we have solved I think the problem. I win, but I don't know exactly. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. We've all seen it. It's hell. Every teacher doesn't want to work it. And right? this is the thing. It's a universal hell. Everyone it's, knows. You know, some people go, oh, uh, parent pickup line is this way, this way. It's different everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. I've, I've had my kids now in three different parent pickup lines. Yes. All three ran differently. Yeah. Um, one of them, moderately efficient. Uh, the other two, absolute nightmares. And and th this is the worst part, James. I, the parent pickup line that I... Uh, used to go to. Okay. Had an intersection right before where it started. And let me tell you, you have never seen me uh -huh. with literally the Walking Dead baseball bat in the back of my trunk <laughs> just waiting for somebody to cut me off. Because they do. They the people yes. go, people, it's not a you're next, I'm next. It's a every man or woman for themselves in the parent pickup line. And I'm sure that works out perfectly. Oh, yes, right? absolutely. Yeah. It works out no uh, issue. Swimmingly. No, yeah. I, yeah. Uh but no, see, that's the thing is it's it's always different. And, yes. And teachers, I think we kind of I don't know, we go along with what the the process is. Yes. Unfortunately, in the teaching world, as you know in the corporate world, yes, I do. the process is usually a we've always done it this way so we're going to keep on doing it this way that's my despite next the fact that we have an hour and a half backup every day <laughs> despite the fact that carol in second grade has had her toes rode over seven times uh despite the death threats yes you know we yes. still do it yeah because think about the system it's so antiquated the guy in the very front row mm -hmm. he determines how fast this line's going to go yeah so 
it's all determined by how fast his kid gets to the car line. Right. And we know little kids, they're not in a hurry to do anything yep. that involves the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that kid's back talking to his teachers, talking yep. to his friends, making plans about the video games he's going to play. Uh-huh. So when he finally saunters on out yeah. <laughs> to the car, he gets in one car down. The teachers are all in their walkies. Where's Kyle? <laughs> Where is he? And he's, he's off playing with a butterfly yeah. in the field. <laughs> And, and the whole there's twenty te- there's, there's twenty teachers trying to rally these kids. Yes, all the parents have got to get somewhere. Yes, nobody's ever like, yeah, I'll take my time in the parent pickup line. No. For some reason, everything when you're a parent is, in a is hurry. scheduled ten minutes after you're supposed <laughs> to pick up your child. And l- let's be honest, you're not getting through that line. The fastest is maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. Yeah, and that's if you're the first person. In line. <laughs> and Kyle is your dumbass kid. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I honestly uh, think that some of them do it well. Some of them don't. Now, okay. I'm going to tell my funny parent pickup line story. Got it. Got <laughs> so it. I go to pick up my child and... Um, you know, they have groups. So they, they have like 10 cars mm-hmm. and they all go in at once and you're assigned a number by a guy that walks down the middle lane. He'll look at your car and you got this thing hanging in your window and he goes, Gavin Seabold, H1. And then the next person, Jane Brown, H2. Okay. And then the next one, you know, I. He'll go I1, I2, I3. Okay. So 10 cars move at a time. The other 10 move, the other 10 move. Now to separate the lines... He has a, a little plaque that he puts. It's a little, you know, laminated piece of paper. He comes by and he goes, you're H. You're the beginning of H. And he puts it right in front of your window. Okay. You know? I'm with and, you so far. Yeah. He, he just puts it right in the, um, the, the windshield wiper. Just tucks it right in there. And uh, I'm in the parent pickup line. I'm the beginning of the next one. So I get the H right mm-hmm. on my window. And I was like, oh, great. So as we're pulling up, <laughs> I... Like, like there's a bug on my window and I'm like, and it goes, <laughs> and the sign flies oh. over it. and it was a windy day, just, oh. just gone. Mm. And I'm, I'm sitting there like, oh no, you know, like, what do I, I do? Yeah. I, 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 I'm not separating it out. And I pull up and I roll that window. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I used my windshield wiper and it flew away. And she's like, oh, it's no big deal. But I was like, I thought thought. it was hysterical. (laughs) Like when I see it fly off, I was like, oh, no, I forgot. It's on my windshield wiper. You know, I can no longer pick my children up. Right. (laughs) That's the rules. Yeah. 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 Which um, isn't a bad thing now that I think about it. Maybe next time just (laughs) see ya. I have a great pickup story, too. Okay. Like I go to the line. I'm not the first one there. You know how that can be. So I get there. I'm probably 30 cars deep in. Yeah. So I go to pick up my kid and I wait all that time because the way this system worked was as you got closer, they asked you what your name was, what yeah. your kid's name was. When you got up there, the kid would walk up. And they're like, is that your parent? And they say yes, and they get in. Yeah. I waited all that time, and I didn't know this. This is with my uh, oldest son, Devin. You, your child's name? You didn't know your child's yeah. name? <laughs> well, no. You got up to the front? I, I, I don't know. Just <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He, he looks like me. He Can looks like that me? kid? Yeah. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> not that to, one. Not that one. No. The other one. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> the, the light skin one. The one looks like Drake. Yeah, that's yeah. mine. I didn't know at the time that my son wasn't feeling well his last class, so oh, no. he was in the nurse's office. Now, you know the rule when it comes to the nurse's office. If it's the last period and you're feeling bad, they don't let you leave till your parent gets there. Really? I didn't yes, know that. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I waited the entire time. It's about 45 minutes in because I'm like 30 cars deep. I get to, to, to the front where it's my turn. Tell mm-hmm. them my name, my kid. They're like, well, we don't see Devin. So they're waiting. I'm oh, he's in the nurse's office. You're going to have to go pick him up there. Oh, you my gosh. <laughs> So you had to loop all the no, way around? No, I did not. You stayed right at, there? At that point, I'm like, you know what? I'll take any kid at You this stood point. your ground. Yeah, I said, give me that kid. I'll take him. <laughs> give, me the, give me the one that's not injured. <laughs> How injured is he? Because I got a, I got insurance right. that might not take him. That's Who right. Knows? That's right. So well, That kid likes Chick-fil-A. I'll take him. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. run him around the block. Come back when the cars are gone. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. So I, And again, we don't know. We don't know what the, uh, the, the fix is. I, I don't know that there's one that's been like, efficient if you have an efficient uh I would love method to hear. of getting this parent yes. pickup line would love to hear it on my facebook you know crying in my car facebook is out there uh instagram as well we yeah. got all the all the socials we're just socialing it up there you go i have no idea what to do i can't really help you with that i'm usually I, the guy i wish up, i thought you would have an answer i'm the guy up front going i don't know <laughs> i just work here buddy do you realize my contract time was 3 30 
<laughs> it's 345. I stop answering questions. And I, I know the kind of answers you're going to get from teachers. They're like, just don't do it. Yeah, don't <laughs> just, do it. Just don't do it. I, we used to have to mandatory sign up for it at some point. Really? You know, yeah, it was, you do the first Everyone nine weeks. Everyone has to take a turn. Yeah, first nine okay. weeks, second nine weeks, third nine weeks, or fourth nine weeks. Mm-hmm. And um, I took the fourth nine weeks every time in the hopes that I would uh, quit by then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. I'll just uh, do the first aid. And literally, I'm like, do I really want to do car duty? Uh, do I really, or do I might want to quit? Yeah. And um, I, I kept going. But of I will say the last year, I only stayed half the year. So it paid off. There you go. It did. Oh, yeah. It paid off. In your face education. Yeah, in your face. <laughs> <laughs> you lost a great educator, but uh, I didn't have to do car duty. So that's all that matters. Gotcha. All right. Now let's jump into this next section. It's a famous section of the po- podcast called okay. Teachers in the News. Teachers mm. in the News. We got to discuss some teachers in the news. Now, I have one news story here. And then I want to share uh, just some uh, news from my Facebook page. So this is the first news story that I came across. Can't wait. Uh, uh, it is all about, um, actually, I got two news stories. This is all about a, a teacher in the Ukraine. Now, you you don't think about, you know, war-torn countries and education. You would think, like, time stops, but it doesn't. The The school was destroyed in the Ukraine. And they're still Her going. Her home, this teacher's home, was destroyed in the Ukraine. And I wish I could say this name, but I'm going to go. Svetlana Popova is a mathematics teacher in the town of something <laughs> near the Kiev region. Funny. Anyways, during the occupation of her region by Russian forces, everything was turned down. Her house was burned to the ground. So she set up a blackboard on the side of the remnants of her house yeah. so that her students could what? come and learn mathematics and conducts her classes every day. Okay, first off, that's highly impressive because uh, yeah. in America... We don't send kids to school if they have the sniffles. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Hurricane Ian, branch down. I was like, cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel Can't it. do it. Yeah. Not, not, I'm not making this obviously dangerous out there. This, <laughs> this woman lost her home yeah. and the school. Right. It's like, no, we're still studying. We're still studying. It burned to the ground. Good God. And, and the school's not there. The kids don't have anywhere to learn. That's a dedicated teacher. That's a very, she should win an award. Yeah, I, I think that so. That woman can figure out how to make the car lines shorter. I agree. <laughs> She I agree. Could. Now, I want to uh, uh, kind of steer into a different idea that, that's kind of come along. And we talked about it a little bit on the podcast, but it's actually hitting home here now. Okay. We're starting to see. I, I talked about it because it was an experiment in Alabama that has now gone nationwide, including Polk County, Florida. Okay, wait a uh, minute. Which is where I'm from. First off, you said it started in Alabama. And went to Polk County. So I guess that's not really <laughs> that big of a you leap. You just lost everyone. They're yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> lost them faster than their teeth. I did. All right. So, <laughs> sorry for Alabama listeners. The Alabama listeners, you can complain on my Facebook. Facebook is a site on the internet. Yeah. If you go to your AOL and use up an hour, you can maybe find it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now, <laughs> Carolyn Stewart. Uh, has spent the last five months trying to find teachers for her school district. And now the 75-year-old superintendent says that she has as she walked through the international baggage claim and claimed some teachers getting off the plane from the Philippines. Apparently, they are trying to outsource all the teachers, and that's what they're doing. We saw it in Alabama. It was kind of an experiment. These were just subs. Now they're actually outsourcing full-time teachers from the Philippines. Now, some of them have masters. Some have doctorates, you know, but they are now using— uh, But they don't have green card. They No, they don't. No, they are on work visas. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right. And so. they are working in the schools to try to— Educate our children. So we're going to kick Mexicans out, but we're going to bring in Philippines. To, to teach. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is, that's a little weird. Of course, they talk English, right? They speak English. Uh, yes, of course. I mean, I would assume, but even so, it's maybe Alabama, not. Alabama. They don't speak English. They don't speak English. No. no that's <laughs> true. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, they, they'll learn, you know, the gotcha. Alabamians. Uh, okay. But how, yeah. okay. I'm thinking about the salaries they pay teachers now. I don't know if they pay them the same salary. Yeah. I don't know. Cause that, that money uh, it might translate differently. That might be like I think a very, it would be. I, I, it might be something very lucrative for them. I don't know if they teach and then just go home during the summers. Yeah. Do they get to establish a residence. Where do they stay? See, this is the interesting thing is that I heard, and I don't have verification on this, I heard they actually pay for everything 
They really? pay for their house. They room pay and board. for room and board. Like everything's provided. Transportation here, you know, and huh. like that it's all like we need teachers so bad that it's all encompassing. So if you're a teacher in America that feels disrespected, fly to the Philippines, establish a residence, <laughs> apply to be an international teacher. And then get flown back here, and maybe they'll respect you a little bit more. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. The, so. And I wanted to uh, uh, bring up uh, a little something from my Facebook page. I posed a question Okay. on my Facebook page. In my Facebook page, I said, uh, what's the most ridiculous, pointless thing you've witnessed during a faculty meeting? Mm. Uh, I remember we had a judge come on uh, and tell us all about ethics, and they paid them an enormous amount of money sure. through Skype. To tell us all about ethics. Yeah. Skype. Skype. Not even in person. Not even in person. Okay. And I was not disappointed by some of these answers. Listen to this. Are we you had... sure you just wasn't watching an old episode of People's Court? No. No. <laughs> James, <laughs> come to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We yeah. outsourced our teachers and our learning. <laughs> there you go. All right. Uh, so, had a superintendent ask a, at the convocation. So, what's uh, this is what the superintendent said. So what's wrong with teaching to the test? I don't see anything wrong with it. And he was very pleased with himself. Okay. <laughs> the <laughs> superintendent. Gotcha. And so everybody was like, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's fun. Um, all right, the next one. Uh, this, this is an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> this is a school up north, mm -hmm. and they had risk management come in okay. and teach the teachers how to walk like a penguin on ice to decrease accidents as they go across the uh, – the parking lot. And, and somebody said, you know, uh, maybe what? we should treat the parking lots so we can walk. <laughs> no, no, no. No, here's how you walk that like would a be penguin. crazy. Here's how you walk like a penguin. Uh, this one's fun. Uh, they came in early the day after Halloween and the elementary principal read poetry his wife sent him years ago. That at least breaks some kind of code of conduct. You would or, think. You or, would think. Or just quality. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This one standing in a circle, tossing a ball of yarn, telling each other what they did over the summer to show how interconnected they were. Got and it. And then it like stays. So it's like, oh, look, we that's uh, the direction we threw it. Look at it. Wonderful. Mm. <laughs> and then this is my absolute favorite. I, I lost it when I read this one. We had to write with our fingers, you are amazing on the back of a colleague. And apparently they said this went on too long and many of us devolved into writing swear words. <laughs> <laughs> James, James, guess what I'm writing right now? It, is the, that you can't one? say that. You can't say that. <laughs> okay, yeah, first man. off, when you have any kind of uh, interaction with your colleagues and you have to touch touch them, Blah. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm riding yeah. on their back. I'm, oh my gosh! And I, I'm a sweater. Yeah, so that me would too. not be good. You know, yeah, 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 have that. Have have yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Glides so nice. Nicely. Oh, mm. it's like a like a, a nice <laughs> pen here, a sharpie. It smells like uh, bacon. Right. You're welcome. <laughs> James, I, I want to do something special at the end of every episode. Okay. And I decided this episode should be no different. I like that. And we got to do it up big. Now, you have no idea what I'm about to do. I do not. Okay, but you and I used to host a radio show together, right? We sure right? did. And we used to do an old segment that you haven't done in a while uh -oh. called Sounds Like. Okay. <laughs> you remember this segment? I do because uh, it was uh, slightly embarrassing. Slightly embarrassing. Slightly embarrassing. Uh, yeah, it's going to be embarrassing again. Goody. Uh, so here's the deal, James. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, play out a scenario. Yeah. And as I play out the scenario, I want you to make the sounds. And uh, we're video now, buddy. I know. This is great. You got to do the motions, too. Mm. The sounds and the motions ah. for what I'm going to describe. Gotcha. Okay. Now it's teacher themed. Now, James, I have designed a workout. <clears throat> I have designed classer size. Class <laughs> classer size, not jazzer size. Classer size, jazzer size is trademarked. Gotcha. Uh, this is classer size, also trademarked mm -hmm. as of now. Got it. Um, so I'm going to be the instructor. Okay. And I want you to make the sounds, make the motions mm -hmm. as I tell you what to do. Okay. Okay. I just want to preface this by saying I hate you already. I know. <laughs> that's that's why I decided to do it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to classer size. I'm your uh, instructor today, Devin, and I'm, I've got the beat in my head. It's all there. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, you can do this sitting down because if you're a teacher. You've been standing up all day. But you're going to sit down. You're going to sit down. First thing first, little warm up. You're in the car. I've got the car seat uh -huh. right behind you. You're in the car. You just pulled up to school, James. Yeah. Yeah. Get that head banging on the steering wheel. Why am I here? 
Why am why are why are you driving a soup can? What are you doing? Why am I here? What am I doing? Where's the nearest real estate licensing school? Get a good cry in. That burns calories. <laughs> That's how you cry. It sounds like I stepped on a guinea pig. Why? <laughs> All right, now, now, okay, all right, enough crying. Now climb up the stairs to your class uh, because the elevator's broken, as you can tell. Uh, You see kids doing things they shouldn't. Here's what you got to do, James. You don't want to do the paperwork, so you got to throw up the blockers. Left, right, left, right, hands up, hands up, disco ball, left, right. Got it, okay, all right, yeah, you're ducking Floyd Mayweather. (laughs) You get to class, you turn on the lights, James. Turn on the lights. That's how you turn on the Oh, no lights. Oh, wow. This is <laughs> Florida school. Yeah. It's no lights come on. Do the cockroach stomp. You got to do the cockroach stomp, James. Do the cockroach stomp. Possibly a rat. Run away. Back to the cockroach stomp. <laughs> Back to the cockroach stomp. All right. No. Ooh. Five minutes till class starts. Five minutes. Till, you don't know what you're doing. Sprint to the copy machine. Sprint to the copy machine. <gasps> it's out of ink. It's out of ink. Maybe someone left some underneath. I don't know. You got to do the copy machine. Remember that old com- that old country song? If you drink, you're a teacher. Do the copy machine crawl. <laughs> you ever, no? What? If you drink, that, that's it's drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crawl. Remember that? Uh, I do remember that. Yeah, yes. okay. okay. Just uh, That's the, the teacher crawl. So you're crawling. You're crawling. Uh-oh. Someone announced donuts in the break room. What's your reaction? Yeah, back down the stairs. And you get there. You get there. And, and you see they're the same ones left from yesterday. Only the thick sugar-coated jelly done in what that no one likes. That sugar coat, you know, you know, eat it anyways. Eat it anyways. What's that sound like? Into the mic. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's what they want to hear. Grand finale. Flip the table. Flip it. You're done with this job. Done with it. Hate these people. Hate the work demands. But wait, you hurt your back flipping the table. Oh. You remember you need health oh. insurance. Put it all back. Ooh. Gotta put it all back. Oh. <laughs> Beg for your job back, James. Please don't fire me. <laughs> there you go. My wife's a horrible person when she's sober. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Mr. Yon. Good job. I think you burned uh, several dozen calories. I did. Yet. I did. I'm going to need another donut. Truth be told, there's a little sweat gleaming I know, in there. Man. <laughs> we worked it up. We worked it up. <sighs> oh, thank you so much for joining us again on Crying in My Car, a podcast for teachers. And uh, don't forget to check out my website, devincomedy.com, for all the upcoming tour dates. I got some shows up in Arlington and, and Richmond. Honestly, almost sold out. So if you're listening Life. to this, get them now. James, what you got coming up, buddy? I have, uh, it's called Life, Devin. Life. Yes, and being a father and a husband. But actually, if you guys want to check out all my tour dates, just go to James Yon Comedy. That's right. James Yon Comedian. Or, no, it's Comedian on uh, Instagram. I changed it. Okay. James Yon Comedian. Go to that. You can see all my tour dates, what I'm going to be up to, all the funny videos that I post. And thank you, Devin, for letting me be a part of this. Yeah, I had a great I'm gonna, time. I'm going to tag you in everything. Give James those follows. we got to get his socials up. He's, 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 uh, he needs them. So. Like my blood pressure. <laughs> yeah, yes. it's got to be up there. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for tuning in to Crying in My Car, podcast for teachers. And we'll be back next week with another brand new episode.